It's Friday. Welcome to Sneakers and Stogies. And, and we're here today because nut shit has happened in the place of Houston, Texas. Houston And, and sneakers, man. This is sneakers too, man. Now, we already had the preview episode this week. The bonus episode featuring Tommy T. It was lit. You know, it was all worth it. My ace is here. So we got DJ T Raw in the mix later on the show. DJ T Raw in the mix. Take the rub off. We ain't talking about the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a few topics to talk about. You know, everything that's going on with George Floyd and the Houston protest. We have the Travis Scott raffle. And. I want to make this beginning episode right here. Apologies to Pinks because I'm on the video. You're going to see I went to Pinks today and they redid my pizza, which is my MacBook because oh, that's why it's a little bit higher today. But they redid my pizza and I'm going to put the video up as well. I got a free piece of the Pinks and I'm going to tweet them out as well because they deserve it. Because that driver from DoorDash still got to catch this round. I'm not playing. You fucked up my food last Friday at midnight. I was starving. And really just upset me. So we're gonna get to the first topic of discussion. The first topic of discussion today, while I'm getting a cigar, and I'm guessing I'm getting a Victor Sinclair, Age Maduro. Hmm. What do you have, Link? Victor Sinclair Habano 55 series. Hmm. Shout out to Thompson Cigars yet again for the pack. I got the 10 pack. 27 bucks. Can't beat that. It's online. If you need a smoke, right. this is it. Please pass the matches. Are you using it? So, my topic for the day, besides the George Floyd situation, which is, and everybody seeing the protest is happening. You've seen the journalist from CNN get arrested this morning, which was beyond me. Like, he has credentials and everything. And y'all still took him to jail. Then he, and then gave him a half ass apology. Like, bruh. That's fucked up. You took, and then somebody from MB, NS, uh, NSNBC was around the corner, and he was white, and he didn't get arrested. Cause I was listening to both, like both shows at the same time, ironically, and I'm like, bruh, black people are pissed. Black people are hella pissed, and this, and this is why. Yeah, I'm not listening. Y'all gonna learn, especially when you got an orange elephant in the office. <laughs> Who is that orange elephant? That's who you want to know. Who is that orange elephant that you speak of? Hey, that orange elephant man ruined a lot of businesses. He the reason that Houston, Texas is having a protest right now. And rioting. For sure, rioting. And looting. So please be safe if you're in the downtown please area. be safe. If you out there in Houston right now, please be safe. Drive safe. Don't run no stop signs because we don't want nothing to occur with you getting pulled over. So mm -mm. please be safe. And so another topic I want to hit is really black mental health, especially in this situation. And you got Rona, dog. Yeah. It's depressing. Like, you have no outlet. And this is what I want to say. At least go talk to somebody. If you need somebody to talk to, go find somebody to talk to. So that way you get your mind off of it. Because it's stressful out here. It really is. Yeah, man. If you got that closest friend and not the... Hit them up, man. Tell them, hey, I need to talk to you about something. I need to get something off my chest, off my mind. Like, I have nobody else to talk to. Talk to somebody. Don't hold it in. Don't let it bottle up. Because once it's bottled up and then it finally explodes, you know, it's not good for your health. So, go talk to someone. Please. Please go talk to someone. But we also got another special guest. Cousin of mine that sold me my first pair of phone posits, and after that I've been hooked. A little brother of mine, my cousin Sammy the Q, going for a doctorate. You know he going for a doctorate, man. Yeah, man. Root to the bros. Root to the bros. <laughs> Root we to the bros. <laughs> and so we gonna put him on the show as well later on, as soon as we get DJ T Raw in the mix on here. But back to the mental health, like, ooh. This is why you need a good quality smoke because something like this rarely occurs and you really need to take time for yourself. Shit, I need it. I took six months for myself. I'm going to be real with you. Or do like me. Fill up your tank and just drive around Houston with your playlist on full blast. Sing every song you want. 
oldies, new school, jazz, blues, hip hop, a little bit of rock. Put on some Queen every now and then. I don't know about rock, but hey, you got it. You got to diversify your playlist, man. To each his own. To each his own. Because you can have a little country in there, man. I listen to uh, one. Look, I only listen to one country song, and that's that song called "Fuck You, Bitch." <laughs> hey man, if you ain't never heard that song, we're gonna drop that link of that song at the bottom later. <laughs> or it might be at the top. We'll figure it out. But before we go to the next segment, that Travis Scott raffle, boy, I'm owing two for both of those raffles. Shit, if you want to count all week, I'm really owing seven. Well, I'm owing three. <laughs> Nigga, I put in multiple accounts, multiple cards, multiple things, and I still ain't got them. I found somebody that got the Travis Scott's in Houston that I actually know. So I was like, okay, they, the website raffle was kind of legit. Nike sneaker app? Y'all make a nigga want to go to Adidas. Like, at this point, <laughs> I see why Kanye left. He knew they wasn't going to give us shoes. Exactly. And I'm like, at least Kanye trying to diversify his platform with Adidas and give us more shoes. Even though he on some wild shit too right now. But at least he's trying to branch out. Nike, what the fuck? Y'all need to get y'all shit together, Nike, because this shit right here, I'm tired of opening my app and receiving that you are not selected. Your entry is not selected. Look, you know how many L's? I ain't never been served this many L's in a single lifetime. Back to back to back, like dead ass. It's only 2020 and we serve, getting served L's. Like, I've been getting L's since January 1st. No, January. Mm -hmm. It didn't release that many pairs. Yeah. Uh, probably thirty thousand because it was less, th but it was less than the chunky donkeys. But I seen more people in Houston with the chunky donkeys, and I'm like, bro, y'all sell them for like thirty, I mean fifteen to twenty. In my size, twelve and a half, 12, 13, You'll find them bitches five thousand. Bitch, I ain't spending five racks. That's my Vegas money. I just won that shit. All the government and shit. Hey man, that raffle, yeah. I was, I was highly upset about that raffle. So if anybody got them cactus trails, please let us know. We might buy it off you. Or put you on the show. Exactly. Put you on the show. You may not leave back with them, but hey. <laughs> we do not condone robbery. We do not condone robbery on the show. We're not saying that. We might you know, make an offer that you cannot refuse in cash. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Le legit legally speaking. But before we bring out DJ T Raw in the mix, we know we got one more topic. And I think you wanna laugh. How was your pizza from Pink's? Hey, my pizza was flame. Not even gonna lie. Flame. It was so flame. I <laughs> we had to drive slow with my pizza because I did not want hit my shit hitting the south side like his did last week. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, I still got the tweet. Like, I told them at Pink's today that it was trending on Twitter on Tuesday because niggas was laughing at my pizza. I felt embarrassed. Like, and my name ain't even Michelle, and they was laughing at me. Like, I felt hurt. Like, the box said Michelle. Like, the man, I got a recording of it, and it's just, I'll put it on the video before, before the, you know, everything starts. So, we about to bring out DJ T Raw in the mix. We'll be right back. We're taking a pause. Yerp. Yerp. Welcome back. It's Sneakers and Stokies. And I have my special guest here today, DJ T Raw in the mix. And we're going to get started on the first topic. You know, what he does as a DJ. What made him DJ? You know, who is he as a DJ? So explain yourself to the wonderful people. Uh, yes, sir. Ski, uh, DJ T Raw in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, I just got a taste for music, you know what I'm saying? Um, I do hip hop, RB, you know, um, club hits, you know, Afro beats as well, you know what I'm saying? I am Nigerian, shout out to my Nigerians, you know what I'm saying? Omo Yoruba, <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, you know, I just got a taste for music, so you know, I just started, you know, I, I had been wanting to do it for a long time, but you know, hey. Quarantine is the best time to, you know what I'm saying, I guess, you know, if you want to do something, I guess go ahead and, you know, go ahead and try to get something done. Quarantine so. skills, you got a top five, like, artists or songs on your repertoire that's on your, you know, mix? Uh, top five. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, <laughs> or you can do a top three. 
You know, you be mixing every day. I feel like you have a top three. I'm just saying. I mean, well, you know, you always got to go for the club bangers at least because, you know, everybody loves to dance. So, you know, you got to have Tootsie Slide by Drake. That's pretty cool. Whoa, you know whoa, 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 hey, whoa, it's a dancing whoa, whoa. song. We don't like care that. about that, that Drake shit, man. I might lose I might lose visitors. I might lose, lose subscribers because of this. But we don't care about that Drake Tootsie Slide. Song is ass. I'm going to tell you here first. Song is ass. No issues about it. It's trash. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Next, <laughs> I'm gonna roast it. See, I was not trying to go 100. I was in a good mood today because Pizza got my pizza right, and you done fucked it up with this drink oh, shit. Oh, Pizza has the pizza right? Yeah, the pizza's under the MacBook. I got you a slice. I got you a slice. It's under the MacBook. All right, cool. Uh, dang. So Tootsie Slide. I mean, so another mix I do like to mix in. You know, I wish by uh, you know. Jack Boys, you know, Travis Scott, you know, Young Thug, that's a good little mix, you know, everybody Still likes that too, shoes, that's what I'm saying. I didn't get the Cactus Jacks as well, I lost on the, uh, <laughs> on the raffle, on the raffle. I didn't win, I was trying to win that yesterday, didn't win. See? It's hard out here. It's hard out here for a pimp, like, honestly, so, I know you've been picking up shoes, I don't want to talk about your work business, but I know you got a lot of shoes, and a lot of shoes in your collection. You got a, you know, what's your basic rotation for the day, honestly? Uh, basic rotation, well, I mean, I'm always going to end up being comfortable at the end, so I am going to go with the easy slides, you know what I'm saying? Those always are comfortable. Fuck with Adidas yeah, right now. I, I do fuck with that, uh, but really, I'm really, I really love Jordan 1s, you know, I am a Jordan 1. I don't want to say I'm a hype beast because I've been on the on the Jordan 1 way before, before the hype beast jumped on it, you know what I mean? Of course. The hype beast train. You see the ones right here? Them his ones. Yeah, the blue toes. Those are the those, those, OG Royal toe yeah, right there. Nice. You don't those know. You nice. better ask somebody. I also do uh, have the uh, turbo green ones. You know, those hey. are those are one of my uh, one of my favorites in my collection. Also, um, um, I fuck with the top three ones too. Those are, I don't, those are nice. Yeah, I do fuck with those. Too. I'm mad so I slept like on them. Those. Yeah, I do like those. So those are probably like I can fuck with those three. Okay. And, and then one more question before we get you out. I know you got some mixing to do today. And I always, we already asked about the shoes. We asked about the music. You got anything you want to promote right now? Because I feel like something you really want to promote is about to go on in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, so um, I do got a pool party going on. You know what I'm saying? I am in the mix of the pool party. You know what I'm saying? SLF. SLF family, you know what I'm saying? They're throwing a pool party, that's so they booked me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it should go down, you know what I'm saying? I have been mixing, you know, I've been mixing and mingling. So, you know, I have got a good little, little combination going on. So hopefully it should be a nice little gathering. You know, hopefully we're going to get it, you know, we're going to take it where I need to go to. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. We're glad to have you on the show. Like, I'm happy that you actually, you know, took a little time out because I know you're busy. You got work, you got DJing, you got your own personal life. But we're glad just to have you on the show, honestly. So, we're about to take another break. And we're going to get to revealing the shoes on the desk right now. And then we're going to bring in our last guest for the bros, my cousin, my first phone positive seller, Sammy. We out. Welcome back. We're in for the third segment. We've got one more segment after this, and we're going to talk about the shoes on the desk. My favorite, which I got as a birthday gift, is the Off-White Vapor Streets, which is right here. Wonderful shoe. Love them. Comfortable as shit. They, niggas might say they women's shoes, but them hoes is comfortable. They're an 11 and a half. I wear a 12. I'm walking on clouds. And when I work for the football team I'm at, 9 out of 10, I'm wearing those. Tell them what football team you work for. I can't tell you that. I am a Cowboys fan, and I'm not trying to lose my job, but I'm just going to say that much. You're trying to set me up for failure. It ain't going to work. You tried it. Mm -mm. He tried to set me up for failure. I'm not going out like that. I got a mission. Hey, man, I feel you. I feel you. Fake that buddy. Hell yeah. yeah. But we know, we know the truth. We I am a Cowboys fan. If you want to know who he works for. I he, am a Cowboys he, fan. He, he, I said up. what I said. Hit me up on my Instagram. I'll tell you who he works for. I is a Cowboys fan. You probably already saw him. <laughs> you ain't seen me. You ain't seen me. You don't know me. Uh, I'm unfamiliar. Uh, <laughs> but the shoes over here. Oh, yeah. These are my babies right here. These are my Mars Landon. Shout out to my LB Robel Flyer Kicks. Another tag, another day. <laughs> hey, he got these for me. I picked them up from him. Hey, favorite shoe. Well, I'm an Air Max fan anyway, so, you know, those are my favorite. 
And DJ T Raw was nice enough to leave us one of his newest releases that he got, and it's the OG Roll Toes. I have ones as well. I like certain ones depending on the color style and the variation. And for them to come back out during the last dance, it's kind of like a win-win situation because Jordan's last dance was, was a pretty good documentary. It showed us inside to something we've already lived. Like a lot of Gen Zers don't get to see that. We lived it. And that's a difference because I grew up with the, with, I was born when Jordan won the 91. I saw the Rockets win the two after, you know, later down, and then the last dance. When he retired, it was like, bro, the game is quiet. Thank goodness we had Kobe. Rest in peace to Kobe, dog. Rest in peace, Kobe. That that still shocked me. But the shoes we have are some of my rotations, and like for every show, we're gonna bring in a different rotation. But as y'all can see from me, it's concert shirt Friday. And right now, the concert of the shirt of the day is the Smokers Club. Currency, Spitter, Spitter Andretti, Jet Life. I went to the show in 2011 with my Metallic Fives, and I rocked the hell out of them. Like, I, got the, I got an autographed hat by Currency from that show. And he, he did, that was the best show he, he's done on one foot. Like, yep. Warehouse Live, Cloudy to the Motherfucker. I missed it. You missed it. I was there. And I stayed after, I threw my shirt at him, and it was funny, I threw my shirt at him. He threw it back, but he threw me somebody else's hat, and I just ran off with that hoe. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, it was a free hat, ain't even my size. And ironically, the year, couple years later, I got Al Sol to sign the hat, too. Just like a nigga. For sure, just like a nigga. What you mean? Just like a nigga. I'm gonna, if there's free <laughs> shit involved, I'm not saying no. Okay. The fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> shit. But, but let's talk about the shirt I got on today. Oh, we got a vintage, vintage shirt. If you know me, you know your girl gave me that hot too. If y'all know what it means, sound it out. <laughs> <laughs> we and if you want us to sell the shirt, to bring the shirt back because it's a vintage product one of, of ours, we will bring it back out. Exactly. And I'll put it on the website. Probably limited to like twenty, just to be fair. Let's do thirty. Thirty. Thirty to be fair. Let's do thirty. That way, for people who yeah, let's raffle all five. Okay, we'll do a special raffle for five shirts. And we're just gonna do a sign up. We're gonna take a picture, put it on the Twitter. We're gonna create the Twitter and everything tonight, but we're gonna do a sign up for the shirt, limited edition. And we might even do the Sneakers and Stogies back logo on the bag just to make sure it's a limited edition product. Mm -hmm. Because once the show gets started and rolling, we ain't stopping. So before we end the segment today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my break. Cause you know our trainers had his break. Yes, sir. And we gonna bring in like my favorite phone positive dealer, the one who gave me my pearls that my pops threw away, and I'm still hurt by it to this day. <laughs> For the bros, <laughs> my cousin who's about to be a doctor. Doctor. Doctor Salmon. We'll be right back. Here. You know this person right here is a special guest, my brother. You know, known him since he was a freshman. We started a whole powerlifting team together. My yeah. brother Sammy. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show, my brother. Welcome yeah. to the show. What's going on? So man, it's been a long time since we actually just linked up, chilled, smoked a cigar. You know, tell the people what you smoking on today. Uh this is a Victor St. Clair Cabinet 99 series. And I like it. I like it. It's the first time I ever had this one. This is like real coffee for it, like espresso almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's real heavy at the end though. I so, like it. So what other cigars? What's your top cigars that you like? Man, definitely. Uh tenth anniversary Perdomo Champagne. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. That's sir. it. That's only for special occasions yep. for me, but yep. you know, I will smoke that. Now let's get down to your sneaker collection. Like what what shoes you rocking right now? Uh, right now I got on the just regular team jersey green, uh, New Balance 574s. Okay. And pretty much I, at the crib on ice, I got some, some Jordan 3s, uh, animal packs, pearl foams, electro limes. The same pearl foams that Jake's got missing? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I had to update. <laughs> I had to update. <laughs> hey, man. What's your top two? 
sneakers out there. Pearl foams and probably maybe the pink and purple camouflage ones. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So besides sneakers, what's your next ventures in life, man? Like, like I said, it's been a while since we just kicked it and chilled, man. What's, what's your next ventures in life, man? I'll definitely finish in school and opening up my own practice. Definitely. Yes, sir. That doctor. Couple life. of them. That doctor life. I stopped starting my doctor in August, man. Yes, sir. Luck so, to you. <laughs> luck to you. It's about. I'm about to be ducked off for a little bit, but hey, I'll be around. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, we also drink liquor on here. You know, yep. you had brought us some of that bumba. You know, yep. shout out to Sammy for bringing the bumba. But what's your top liquors out there? You know, you know me. I always been the Hennessy man. Man, man. Hennessy Shogun, man. I got. It. All of them. I got uh, Master Blenders one through four. I'm looking for one. I got two, three, and four. Yeah. One is is crazy. It's like two thirty right now. It's like two thirty, and I'm and I'm not not ready to let go of that bread yet. Hey man, look. I, I told myself I'm gonna spend a check on one bottle. Yeah. One yeah. bottle. Yeah. But I gotta figure out which check that's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I limited myself to one high class a month. Like one month, I get some private stock. Like just straight up. Like just recently, I got some uh, tequila Patron, uh, the State Reserve. Mm-hmm. This bottle only come out once every seven years. Made from House Patron's own personal agave plants. It's crazy. Crazy. Hey man, well listen, we want to thank you for coming to the show, man. Oh, yeah. We look forward to having you back when you free again, cause I know you got a busy schedule, man. Oh yeah, but hey, appreciate you for coming out, my brother. Yeah. And we're rolling. Welcome back. Welcome back. We about to close out the show for that day. This is really episode two, and I say that because the episode we dropped last minute yesterday, which dropped today at six p.m. for those who watching. It dropped because Travis Scott, you know, did a surprise raffle on his website. Now, little be known, Sammy here has a Neo that actually won the shoe. And I got a picture of it, and I will put it on the on the play on the page, like on the on the video later. But before we close it out, I also want to give y'all the schedule from henceforward. So we shoot Tuesday and premiere Wednesday, and we shoot Friday and premiere Saturday. But if it's a special raffle, we do an emergency episode, which is rare because niggas ain't doing emergency raffles like website raffles and stuff like that. Now, Even for our merchandise that we do a special raffle for. Because we're going to have a lot of merchandise. Like the website is basically built, but I just got to do the, the name changes and everything. And we're going to go from there. But even still, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Like, we're going to have a lot more of our vintage shirts on. I'm going to put pictures of the vintage shirts also onto the video today so that way y'all can see what we rocking. Also, can can you suck peanut butter through a coffee straw? Another vintage Another shirt. Another vintage shirt. That we made over the years. And I said, shit, we got shirts. We got clothes. We might as well just put the shit together and put it all on the package with the show at this point. Exactly. Can you blow bubble out of a nine later? Yeah, yeah, now she can do that. She's magical. But that's not the end. That's wifey material, brothers. That, that, hey, that's, hey. <laughs> we neither here nor there for that. <laughs> hey, you know, brothers, brothers, you better keep that, man. I'm trying to tell you, you better lock it down. <laughs> like dead ass. And now, before we close out, we want to leave a personal message to everybody that's, you know, protesting. Make sure you do a safe protest. I understand there's rioting going on. You know, we have fun and games here, but we want y'all to make sure y'all stay safe. Please be safe. And if you are out there protesting, remember, COVID-19 is still out there. So please wear a mask, have your hands sanitized, and when you get home, take your clothes off at the door because you was around a group of people. Sure, my folks are so old school. They got bottles of, bottles of vinegar, and they say, hey, you know what you need to do? You need to put that vinegar in that sink with some hot water in the towel, and you eat, and that's it. So... That's the best advice I can give you. Clean yourself off before you go lay down because you don't know who you're passing it to. Exactly. Even though you don't have the symptoms, you could be a carrier. And that's the worst thing. It's not about you getting sick. It's about others getting sick. Exactly. So let's stop the spread of COVID. Let's be safe out there when we're protesting. Y'all be blessed. And so like like one of my favorite correspondents on the news say, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. 
and we really do appreciate it. We're slowly going up now, but by the time this show takes off, y'all gonna be looking back like, dang, these fools was really some idiots on TV. On TV. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't shit. For sure, we ain't shit with the motto. <laughs> so, we signing out. This land is strange. This is our train miss. We had Sammy, Dr. Sammy, and we had DJ T. Raw in the mix. Yeah. And we signing out. Y'all have a nice one.